My name is Kim Ling Morris and um, my work is mostly to do with using recycled materials to create uh, scenarios or to create ideas um, that I want to express. A lot of the themes that I tend to work with are about parallel lives. So the chance of me being born here or living here where I am on this part of the earth compared to another part of the earth and all those things and all those lives going on that I'll never see and never touch, but still they're going on and I, I'm still interested in them even though I'll never know about them. My background is uh, very mixed, both like racially and culturally. Um, I've lived in many countries and I have friends and family all over the world. So what that means is um, I usually miss most of them and I'm here, but I'm wondering what they're doing over there. So I'm very aware that these lives are carrying on without me, which is usually a shock, actually. <laughs> As you go back and you visit and things have changed and in your head, it's, it's sort of frozen where it was. The piece is actually reused um, a frame and um, old desk legs and some twine that uh, somebody rescued from a building site. There's a lot of people from different countries that often work in building sites and um, I kind of like that mixedness. I'm using baling twine, baling straps. I've stitched um, the baling twine onto the baling straps to make a kind of fringe. And within the colours of the baling twine, I've put in lettering. There's, there's actually Morse code um, put in there, so I've got dots and dashes in there. The top piece is effectively um, a white background with blue text which says my full mouth and the bottom part says my empty heart. And I, I suppose it's a comment um, on how people who have a lot still seem to think they don't have much and can be very ungenerous especially to people who don't have very much and there's almost an expectation that the people are used to not having very much so it's okay for them to go without. There's, there's also a little bit about the frame where it's kind of like a window so you can pass through from one world into the next um, if you choose to. When you take a simple idea like language or, or landscape as, as the themes are in this, how people can respond um, with so many ideas from so many different backgrounds, um, I, I find fascinating.